three, two, one. Hello everyone, I'm DragonWolf and welcome back to Minecraft Age of Engineering. When we last left off, we were trying to figure out how a way to fix this, and I think I figured it out. Instead of keeping buckets there, we need to get the distillation buckets to be there instead. So that way it knows to keep the distillation bucket there, and then that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And then these buckets will only be made when they are needed, I guess? And it, it, it's pumping it's pumping the fluid in there, now I just gotta get the items in there. Uh, so I guess what I'll need to do is I'll need to take this pattern and, oh no, then it won't know to make the, the distillation stuff. Ugh. I might just have to switch this up with a chest, uh, to be honest with you. To be completely honest with you, I need a chest. Because otherwise I'm going to fill this thing up. Yeah, it's filling up. So, let's put this, let's get a chest. Chest. And we'll have all the items go into the chest. Like, this system over here, this system works because it only has one place to go. Where this other system that we're working with right here actually needs a couple of systems to go. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll pop that off. And I'll have the chest say here. And then what I'll do is I'll have the fluid tank down below. And it's making... I can't open this. Alright, I need to stop this. Stop keeping those. Uh, I mean, I, I guess it doesn't really matter if we keep uh, distillation in here, but... It, uh... Wait. <gasps> it's connected over there. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's connected over there. Whoopsies. Uh, let's see. I need you to push. Uh, push. Should have put it all in there. Yeah. And then what I'll do is I'll just disable this side. Yeah, just disable that side. That works. Oh, boy. Almost made a boo-boo. All right, so... I mean, I guess it really wouldn't matter if it did that, but eh. Anyway, so now, if we set this up, we can then say, okay, you, sir, can give me some item conduits. No, not there. Put an item conduit here. And then what we can say is this will be insert. And then this will be... Uh, we'll need to get the... the the things back out so well this one can be only be insert as well okay so this would be insert so this can be only insert insert on green that's fine so this one is extracting on green or this one's extracting on brown so this will need to be insert on brown this one will need to extract always active on green and then this one will need to be insert on brown because it's extracting the items from here or wait no this would be insert this would be in and out that's what it is in and out so insert on brown extract on blue and then the extra insert on this will be blue so now let's test it out I uh, need to cancel this so now give me a do void of the do let's make two so it should throw everything in this chest should be in the keyword or I might need to put the chest up against it that might help okay so let's uh, break this break the chest break that and then put the chest up against this uh oh Okay, there's all the items. So now what we want to do is we want to do item conduits from here to there. This will be in and out. So insert on green, extract on brown, always active. And then this one will be extract on brown, or actually be in and out. Hmm, how am I going to get the, the, the items back into the chest? Or uh, I don't even know if it'll... It'll take it. But what we could do is say insert. This one is only allowed to insert due to the void buckets. And then we'll say extract on brown. This would be insert on brown, extract on green. That works. 
So we're get, now getting buckets of distillation. And I have to find a way... I can guess I can just do this. This would be just extract only. Uh, and then I need a, I'll need a, a, a filter. So that way it only extracts the empty buckets. So... Filter... Let's just do basic filter. Because we only need one of those. So basic filter, we need a hopper. There we go. And then basic like that. So and then this will be extract, but we'll we'll limit to what it, it does extract. Uh, and then buckets. Just empty plain Jane buckets. So that way it only it only lets buckets go through there. So is this is this working? Not yet. Okay, so I do need to, to cancel this. And then we'll start the job back up. So do Give me two, please. And then what I'll do is I'll set this liquid to act always active. So it just dumps the liquid in there. And yeah, we've got a full tank, but that's okay. That's okay. So now this should have the items in there. Yes. So with this, I want to say you'd extract... Um... Okay, so I'd need to extract the empty buckets go there. So this can actually be the items can be disabled. Because it, it's it's pulling the buckets back into the top. So and then this one I need to extract on blue. The items go in there. This would be insert on blue. This is extract on blue. Why are you not extracting, sir? Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Extract. Oh, always active. There we go. I asked for two buckets, though. I don't know why it's... Uh... Unless I've made a mistake. Do the void. Click. goes in a bottler so one grain four buckets of distillation we have a lot of backup so I'm, I'll have to just cancel all this out I don't know if it's because they had items in there or not but uh, I could put this in blocking mode so that way it only blocks uh, but it looks like it's making it I mean I we'll have to do another test, but I think it works. I think it's working. And then I want to make sure that you are, yeah, you're pushing all your contents into here. This gets scooped up. So in that case, now I do want to keep empty buckets in on hand. That way, it does will it will always scoop it up. So I asked for two buckets. It only made. Did it make two? <gasps> it made two already, apparently. So let's ask for two more. Let's ask for two more. It's making stuff? Uh, let's just cancel that. Let's just cancel. Let's just grab some grains. Let's grab two grains of each. And then, because we have backup, let's just do that. Because I don't want all of this to be... I want it to be used when it's used. Not sit there and have a backup. Because now now that's empty. That's good. So, that should make... That should clean out every single bit of this tank, hopefully. It looks like we have a little bit extra. I might have to break the tank. Just to start from scratch, start fresh. Either that or get... Find out some, some way to get 200 millibuckets of... of of the tank. Ugh. There's so much stuff here. Nutrient distillation. Why are you not emptying out? Oh, because you don't have a full bucket yet. Okay. So, so far... I mean, it's working. Alright. So, what I'll do is I'll be right back when this is done. We've got a little ways to go. So, be right back.
All right, so what I did is I went ahead and uh, broke this machine, reset it, and now we can actually see if this will work completely. So let's just ask, for this time, let's just ask for one bucket. It's got a lot of crafting steps because it's got to go through the whole vibrant alloy, emerald, making four buckets of nutrient distillation. But we should start seeing items. Uh, yeah, we heard this start working. There we go. It made that. It, it put some more items in the nutrient distillation area. And I, I did put uh, purposely put more heads and, and sugar in there. Uh, the next thing I need to work on is getting a farm for that. So that way we can keep sugarcane on, on stock. Um, well, we can do that here in a little bit because we got plenty of sugarcane. So it actually did work. So it put four buckets in there and it actually did work. So awesome. Now that we've got the nutrient distillation on a somewhat working level... Uh, it may not be pretty, but, uh, hey, it's, it's working. So now that we've got that all set up, we can now go back to making our matter transceiver three episodes, <laughs> three episodes later. Um, we've already got the way to make that. So now we can just tell it to do, hey, this is how you make this. Awesome. So now we, our system knows how to make, or should know how to make every single thing possible. So now all we have to do is like we can whoop, grab this, uh, put this macerator away. I was going to use it, but we used our sag mill instead. So now if I said, hey, can you give me a matter receiver? I just need one. Can you make it? And it says yes. It says yes. So yeah, we've got four vent circuits available, electronic circuits available. And let's see, how much is Redstonia? We've got some. How about uh, Palis? We've got some. Uh, eventually that will run out, but that's that's that. Uh, but now I want to, like, of all things, they need to be powered. So in order to get this powered wirelessly, so that way we can put it back on the moon, or put it up on our space station, put it on the moon, whatever we need, we're going to need a... Um, a cell, one of those cells that we made a long time ago, which apparently I didn't teach it to autocraft. So let's look up. Actually, I want to make sure that I get the right name for this because I don't want to make the mistake. Because I want to use these cells here. It's called a power cell. Okay. Hey, Enderman. Hey. Get out of my base. This is my swamp. There we go. Uh, put that away. Put this away. That all that away. Awesome. So now we just need our, to make ourselves a power cell. I'm going to teach the system how to make that. Auto crafting is, is a man's best friend, basically. So power cell. I need to teach it how to make this. Uh, we just need to teach it how to make redstone blocks. So unless you already know how, sir. Redstone. No, you don't. So now we can t tell it, hey, you now know how to make redstone blocks. So now we can do look up power cell. I uh, still need redstone blocks, but four of those. Awesome. Now we can make the redstone and makes prismarine shards. And it knows how to make all of that. It knows how to make all of that. So now we can just throw that in here. And then we can ask for a couple, I guess. So, power cells, give me two. And we also need the card, uh, the, the link card. Uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called, link. Yes, the power cell card. We just need to teach it how to make this. So, teach it how to make the extreme laser, which needs an advanced laser, which needs an energy laser, which no, that's how you make that. So, whoops. I might have to do a lot of this by hand. Do you know, you don't know how to make, you don't even know how to make the basic of the basic, my friend. Jeez. So, learn how to make this. Now, with this, you can learn how to make this. And then with that, we can teach you how to make this. Uh, redstone. 
Make two redstone blocks for me, please. Like that, and that makes four. All right, so we can go ahead and put these in here. Like so. So now, link card. So this to this to this. So we know how to make that. So now we just need to teach it how to make this, which we need... Whoops. Uh, I need to just make some of these, I guess. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so two in. Teach it how to make that. Then should have the stuff to make it. And then need to make this one, which we need diamond team. <laughs> Oh, the day has come. The day has come, my friends. We need to teach the system how to activate this. And this is going to be fun. All right. So what we'll do is we'll have to set everything up for the chest. So let's get... Oh, I have some diamond teen already in here. But that's regardless of the point. I want to make sure that this knows how to make all of this on demand when we need it. Uh, so, yes. Okay, so, first off, we're going to need a interface, which I have in my inventory. We'll put the interface... Uh, sure, interface can go right there. And then what we'll do is we'll, uh, set this up here. We can get rid of these hoppers now. Because we don't really need the hoppers much anymore now that it's going to be automated. Oh, it's storming outside. Uh, okay, so now that we've... Uh, do I really want that down there? I don't know. Um, actually, let's change this up. There we go. So I'll put the interface here. Put the chest here. And then we'll have to pull from said chest. So let's grab our item conduits. And then item conduit this thing up. And we're going to need a lot of filters. So I might need to get those auto crafting. Um, oh, that's not going to work. I'll have to actually break this and put that there. That works. Let's get down here. And get this set up like so. Let's get some filters. Uh, gonna do advanced filters because there's a lot more recipes than there is to know. Okay, it looks like it does not know how to make advanced filters. Which I can teach it how to make advanced filters. Filter. Actually, just do this. This. Uh, we need to teach it how to make paper. Alright, so this to this. Gives me another reason to make a sugarcane farm. <laughs> All right. So we'll put this in here. So let's just make a bunch of paper. Like so. So now we do this to that. It makes that. Do you know how to make this? The Z-Logic controller. So we need two solarium, two silicon. All right, solarium. Do this to solarium. Silicon. And we'll use the uh, ingot form. And then we need redstone. And a zombie head. And then we can get this... Uh, Z logic, and that makes a Z logic controller. And then we'll grab that, and then we'll put that in here, under where the flasks are. I think no, no, not the flasks. Uh, it is not the powered spawner. Yeah, the slice and spice. Oh. I already taught you how to, I already taught it how to make a Z logic. <gasps> oh boy. I can empty this back out and put that back in there. Well, I'm way ahead of myself for some reason. Alright, so now we can actually put this in here. Actually, I'll put it down here. So now we can say filter. 
Can you make me 10 of those, please? Awesome. So now we're going to grab the filters that we do have. And we're just going to set them up to where each piece of the stuff that we have goes into where the, the each and individual pedestals. Whoops. Uh, grab this. There we go. And then we'll do all this, set this up properly. Need to connect it all that. I think I don't need it connecting here though. So disable that. There we go. Get us some uh, building blocks. Take our food away. We don't really need to eat right now. All of that's connected. All of that's connected. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start making it, getting it to make the basic of the basic. So we're going to start with Redstonia. Redstonia. E, uh, wait, wait. No, that's not right. Uh, I know I have some in my thing, though. Redstone. Oh, it's Restonia. Ah, uh, gotcha. Restonia. So, we need a block of redstone. And we need to go downstairs. Do I need, did I teach you how to make these? I taught you how to do in that and that. I talked you to do Payless. But I didn't teach it how to do uh, the, the Restonia. That's, that's kind of sad. So, Restonia. Wow. Uh, any more on that filter? And uh, Any more on that uh, range thing there? And I'll have to actually uh, put a filter on that. Alright, so... Block of Redstone... Let's just make two. That's fine. One block of redstone. Nope. One block of redstone. Equals one of those. In the dropper. Let's, we'll find all of our friends right there. Awesome. So now, <clears throat> I'm going to have to find a way to get this hooked up. Where is a good power line for this? Uh... Probably need to set this off to the side somewhere that actually that way I can actually get a good grip on where I can put this uh, this thing, or I could put it down in the basement and then just run a wire all the way up here. That might work. Where where is this actually? It's right here. Uh, that won't work. Um, where can we put this? I guess that would work. I can run it right here because I think this line only has a few few things on it. Yeah, I'll have to actually put a uh, the better cable here to see how many wires are on this. Let's break that really quick and put a smart cable there. Hey, smart cable, tell me how many things we have put over here. Four. All right, that's not bad. So I can put this here. All right. So let's grab the the chest. And we'll grab the interface. And then we'll just put it uh put the interface say here. Oops. Put the chest in front of it. Put a torch down here. And then let me find my way blindly. Uh, we're almost there. Is this it? Yeah, here we go. Now, this is a roundabout, a roundabout way of doing it, <clears throat> but I think this might be the easiest way to do so. So that way we don't have to, to run the wire to it. We just like either way we're running wires all over the place. So this would probably be the easiest and more efficient way of doing so. Plus not to mention when I want to, to add it to the, the system, it, it won't be that hard. So what I'll do is I'll just run this over here. Like so. Awesome. <clears throat> so now this is on the system. And then now that what we can do 
is with Restonia. So now that I know how to spell it, Empower Restonia takes Rose Red. So what we'll do is we'll designate one of these guys for Rose Red. So Rose. Ooh, I only have one left. I need to teach you how to make that. So this one will be Extract. No, this will be Insert. I'll put a filter in there. So you filter Rose Red. And then what else does, do we need for Restonia? Uh, actually, Uses. Uh, and then we need Ardite. <clears throat> so this one over here. Hello. Um... Uh, Are you... Where is... Where is that block? Okay, th I, that was weird. Uh, so now this one would be insert. And we want to get you some Ardite. Grab one Ardite. And put the filter in here. And you go Ardite. Now I can put all this stuff back in the system. And this can go back... Cleaning my inventory up just a little bit, guys. Sorry. Put all that back. This back. There we go. <clears throat> so the next thing we need for Restonia is uh, resonating in uh, resonating redstone crystals. So redstone, and we'll grab one of these. Uh, are my filters done? Yes, my filters are done. Now, I know I didn't need 10, but eh. it's never it never hurts to have extras. Oops, give me that back, please. So now, uh, now, hello. There we go, enter conduit, insert uh, filter with these guys. And then last but not least for the Restonia, to make this, we need garnet. So let's grab ourselves a garnet. And like the others that we've done so far, this will be insert with a filter with garnet. Now, this, it needs to be extract always act. Well, actually, it would be in and out. So this would be in and out, <clears throat> insert on green, extract on brown. So I want it to insert with Restonia. So give me a block of Restonia. And put that there, like so. So now all I gotta do is come over, whoops. Come over to our little thing here. So one Restonia. A Redstone thing here, Reds, and then Rose Red, Rose Red, Redstone, and then Ardite. And last but not least, a Garnet. Turns that into the Restonia blocks. Do we have any Restonia? Do we have any Empowered Restonia? I have enough to make a block. So let's take Take this and make a block really quick. Like so. Like so. Make that. And then I all I got to do is just throw it into here. And it should, <clears throat> on craft, so if I wanted to make a Restonia block, I should just say, hey, make me one, please. And we should see this over here getting populated. Good. Um, actually, hold on. I think I messed up. This needs to be extract on green, always active. There we go. Uh, and it's not working? Are you, are you out of power? No, it's not out of power. Oh, it's missing one. What are we missing? Uh, garnet? Where the garnet's still in there. Did I forgot to, to insert or whatever? No, it's on insert. Hmm. Uh, 
That's on insert on green. Insert on, let's change it, see if it populates. No? I mean, all of the rest of them in, uh, populated. Why is that not populating? Ah, okay. I was about to say, what in the world? It's because I didn't run the wire over there. There we go. There we go. Awesome. So now that we've got that all taken care of, we should be able to fill this in. And then uh, I'll have to make myself a, a way to get down here to, to, to populate this ever so often. But uh, I'm not going to fill it in all the way because I do need to make uh, the other things for the Restonia or the, uh, the Lapis and things of that nature. So, But I am going to fill this hole in. Don't really need anything down here. Like so. There we go. So now we just need to get the other pieces together. So to make, uh, was it uh, lapis? No, no, it's, uh, yeah, lapis. Lapis lazuli, the uses of that block, whoops. Uses of this block are to make a multitude of things. It's, it makes payless. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. Payless. So to make payless, just need all of these ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a short, short break. Uh, take a little quick cut here. And I'm going to go ahead and teach the system how to make all of this. Because once you know how to teach it the first thing, it's easy to make the next. So be right back. All right. <clears throat> now that we've got a lot of them already set up, as you can see down here, I have the payless uh, the, or the empowered Ristonia that we did earlier. We've got the Empowered Payless now, and we also have the Empowered Diamantine, <clears throat> which I've actually got one cooking right now. So now that we've got these, we can go back to what we were doing for making our Link card. Uh, so many steps, so many steps. But we should now have the Diamantine block, which I'll, I'll break down to crystals, like so. And now we should be able to make our link card. So I need to do this. Whoops. Like this. Put this in there. And then that will link card. We're going to need the other, the other step here. So like this. We're going to need a flask. Glad I made... I'm, I'm glad I put this on autocraft before. It, it, it does help out a lot. Uh, so now that we've got that, let's make ourselves a uh, energy laser. Uh, we need the extreme, I think it was. Yeah, the extreme energy laser. Let's make one. So that way we can put that in our link card. By the time we get that, our Klein Flask should be done. Ta-da! Awesome. So now we can put both of these in our system. Now we know how to make a link card. I probably need to teach it how to make all of the, the other blocks too. So like uh, diamond teen. I just do teen because, yeah. So we need to teach how to do the diamond teen once this block is done. Uh, so Restonia. Let's go this. So one block of Restonia like that. Payless, one block of Payless, turns into that, and then a teen should be done. Wow, this takes a really long time. Jeez, I, f I put this on oh, about 20 minutes ago. There, finally, wow, takes a while. And then the teen, you can do this. So now it knows how to make every bit of... Of those link cards so all i gotta do basically is just say hey make me a link card and ta-da it uh it can make it like so so now that we've got the the ability to make the said link card let's make our link make ourselves a link card and make ourselves a power cell which we've got two of them uh so i'll need another link card please And it should go through all the crafting. But while we're working on that, uh, for what our purposes is what we need, we only need one. And uh, 
we're going to end the episode on doing that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to link it up to this card here. So please link. So link ID 1. Like so. And then we've got our power cell. And now we just need to make our way back to the to our space station. And I'm going to put the space station one first. Uh... Speaking of which, I need to make uh, make another uh, matter receiver. Uh, we got two, so we need one. I want to put one here on Earth. Oh, lag spike. Okay, here we go. I want to make sure I put one here on Earth. So that way we have the ability to do that. But the question is, though, where do I have power? Uh, right here. Yeah, we've got power right here. So let's grab our satchel. Get us some power cables. Because these things have to be powered. Otherwise, bad things happen. Bad things happen. So I can do this. And then put our... Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I thought it was already... Yeah, so I should be able to put this bad boy here. Yeah, there we go. And this would be home base earth. Yes, home base earth. So now what we want to do is we want to take our charge porter. And I think it's shift right click. Receiver 2 is added to the charger port. So we shift right click on an empty block and we can see home base earth is on here. We can set it. We can clear it. But we can set that. And now when we go, we right click. Woo! the world that moves using the charge porter for the first time that is amazing let's put all of our stuff away and what i'll do now is we're going to take a little rocket ride well i'm going to take a little rocket ride while i do a little cut uh we make sure we have our space suit on because we don't want to suffocate and uh destination space station one we've got our fuel on us so let's fill this thing up with fuel, and let's go. I will see you at the space station. All right, now we're back on our space station, and I want to make sure that I use my power cell like we've done so many times before. Not really just the first time, but I'm going to break this block here, put our power cell, make sure we put our linker card in there, and we should be getting power. Yes, we're getting power. So now we put our little teleport system here. This thing should be getting energy. Should. Hopefully. And then all I gotta do is shift right click. And then shift right click here. And as you can see, dimension. But what, we, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give this a name. Space Station. Yes. Get our space station. So now we see we've got one for Space Station and one for Earth. So now we can technically leave our rocket here and we don't really have to, to worry about going back and forth with our rocket, wasting all the fuel, even though fuel is just water. But now just to test this theory or test it out, let's get away with this. And then what we'll do is we'll do that and our set teleportion starts and it'll take us back home. Woo. All right. And then if we decide, hey, oh, we're going to work on our space station. I can right click this. I can set that. Right click. And we're back on the space station. I need to make this where it's got fuel. Oh, uh, out. There we go. There we go. There we go. I have to send it all out. But that, uh, that is that. Uh, that is awesome. We've got our teleportation system up and running now. And it's so magnificent, so magnificent. Now we can just teleport all over the place. And all we really need now, the, uh, now is to get ourselves another power cell, a linker card, and a matter trans a matter receiver. And we can, you know, teleport all over the galaxy with just a click, uh, uh, just a right click. So I do want to shift right click, go back to Earth. And we're back home. So that is, that is the first part of what I say is going to be a grand, grand journey. Uh, we just got to make sure that these things keep power, which I'm hoping they will. 
But uh, the next thing I'm going to start working on now is uh, whatever your suggestions is, first off. But uh, the next thing that I have in mind is we're going to go and we're going to go to the mining age. And we're going to take down our uh, our little, uh, what you call it, solar panel up there. Because in this on the space station, it is eternal day. We're going to be getting a lot more power. Well, not saying a lot more power, but uh, we can make our, our solar panel a lot bigger. I think we have the means of doing so. We can just make it uh, to, you know auto craft it and we'll be on our way so yeah that is awesome so anyway thank you everybody so much for watching if you did enjoy the episode please do remember to give it a big thumbs up if you have any tips tricks or any other things that you would like me to do or build in this series please let me know also if you have any comments questions or concerns leave a comment down below other than that thank you everybody so much for watching and until next time see you later